Always cool when you get people in the picture. Sweet. Oops. Here we go. I'll overexpose this to Tad. Flash is weird. Okay, frame it properly and. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna get these people walking across here. This will be good. Try and get them without any cars. This would be awesome. Ah, they stopped. Here we go. Come on, here we go. Whoops. <laughs> how you doing? All right, how you doing? Excellent. Look at this guy walking down there as well, although he probably won't come out very well. But Okay, so we have the tower there. That's what makes it kind of neat. So here's a cool reflection, that pull pull. I think I want to take that if I can keep out of the reflection myself. Here we go. That's probably waste. A woman walking her dog. Okay, I'm gonna act like I'm not shooting her, but she's gonna go into one of these buildings. So I've gotta take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. She knows you're taking the shot. Okay guys, so for those of you keeping score at home, this is uh, would be roll number four in four days. So we are rolling right along and this roll, I am developing with the Nikon FM10, I'm developing a roll from the Minolta SRT 101 that I took out yesterday to the south side of Indianapolis. This roll is Franklin, Indiana, which is way south side, very south of Indianapolis. And my goal here is to, I don't think I can keep up the pace of shooting a roll every day, but uh, the goal is to get at least a couple rolls a week. And if I can keep that rolling, then uh, we should be fine. And the goal here is basically I'm gonna, gonna put together a book and of black and white only, black and white film photography. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm guessing I should have the, I'm only gonna do 100 to 150 pages and I'm shooting 36 exposures at a time. So for instance, from today, if I could get five good photos out of this, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, maybe I get 10 if I'm really pushing it, but uh, technically, you know, if you can go out and you shoot a roll and you can get five to 10 good photos, you're gonna take some um, some bad ones, you're gonna make some mistakes. I tried to do shoot experimental shots all the time, at least 10 shots of into the sun, and I'm still trying to figure out how that dynamic works and getting a little better at it sometimes, a little worse other times, but that's why you gotta experiment. And that's why I'm using black and white film, very inexpensive, less than six bucks a roll for 36 exposure. I develop it at home. The chemicals are cost next to nothing. And I really like tonight, I'm gonna go home and, and, and develop both of these rolls. I'm excited about that. So I'm much more excited than I would be taking a SD disc and putting it in the computer and doing the digital. That's great, not knocking it whatsoever, not trying to be some snobby purist, but I've been there, done that, and you've gotta go through different stages in photography, and that's kinda of what I'm stressing here with my film photography. A lot of you follow me because of the Ricoh GR3, Pentax K70, maybe the Fuji X-T1, but film photography is kinda of where my passion is right now. I've got tons of videos on those other cameras I hope you'll enjoy, but right now I'm working on film, so we'll see how this goes, and then I'm sure I'll uh, move off that onto something else as well but right now it's getting pretty humid out here so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off but please like please subscribe I really appreciate you guys checking out the video please comment that does help and just let me know what you think do you have a Nikon FM 10 do you shoot black and white let me know what you think and do you use negative lab pro I scan this with a DSLR camera basically it's my Canon EOS RP with a Viltrox 40 millimeter macro lens. I really like the results. As a matter of fact, I love the results. I hated the results I used to get off the V600 scanner, Epson, which is why I haven't put a lot of videos out yet on film because I just knew the scanning wasn't working right. And I'm glad I didn't because it wasn't. I regret some of the videos I already put out because now they look way better using the DSLR scanning, but that's okay. I only put four or five videos out, something like that on film. But now I'm gonna start putting a lot more out. So I go DSLR scan into you into Lightroom and then Negative Lab Pro, but my goal is always to never crop the image and to never have to edit in Lightroom, only edit in Negative Lab Pro. So far, so good, very happy with the results. Let me know what you think and we'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoy it, guys. Can.
I could have probably backed up a little bit, but got the first shot on the roll. Let's go ahead and take a second shot just in case. So we got our first couple shots off. That's kind of neat, just the way the sun is reflecting this. So I'll go ahead and get this shot here. It says we should be right on target. A little angle there. Again, we're at 2 50th of a second. F11, I like trying to be at f11 or higher on the aperture right in the middle of the lens good place to be plus you get some decent depth of field small towns are great when they give you these type of views this nice little horizontal landscape as others would call it see what we can do here with the sun and the courthouse and the tree let's see okay so this could be kind of cool we want our leaves in focus that damn car in there this is really cool Cool the way the sun's hitting that, and cool the way the sun's hitting this right here. Okay, here we go. Shows me a little overexposed. Need to be about f11. All right, so here we go. Love working with a zoom. Go up a little bit. Okay, and here we go. Like that. Okay, there's our shot there. Fairly cool love coming to these small towns because you can just get so many cool shots black and white get the old-timey shots kind of a cluttered look in the street but you gotta have the sun going to make it interesting give it some appeal shadow is really what sets it off from being just a boring shot although it's going to be a boring shot but you know that's okay okay i like the way that the um sun in the background so we need to make sure this works right oh got some people in there dang it all right here we go here's our shot here pretty cool don't know what kind of shot we'll get like that shooting into the sun but I always like to try see if I can get this level and shoot I should have went up actually a little closer. Okay, that was cool. Ooh, I can get down the street now. Okay, another cool shot. Although, no, that probably was not a cool shot. Give me a horizontal and a vertical here. Okay, now this one at 250, I need to be up to. I really should go higher, but... Okay, 5.6, let's get this shot. know what this is going to give us probably should have went vertical with that but i'm not going to waste a second shot on it now of course all the traffic is gone dang it okay so let me hurry up and see what we can get here too overexposed hurry up all the cars come and there's our shot here boom one car got there these are all experimental is we need to be just I'm just a hair overexposed make sure I I try as I say in every video I try to make these I don't crop in Lightroom so I try to crop everything in camera this is pretty cool here oh yeah that's pretty neat okay there we go I like that Okay, do we have a frame properly? Yep. Okay, sorry guys, taking forever. Okay, I'm focusing on the courthouse itself. There we go. Very neat. Okay, get a shot isolating it when the cars stop going by. That's what I want, so let me see. Hold on, get away car, hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh no! 
Okay, I'm gonna have to take another one because what a waste of a shot. Dang it. Uh. Okay, so we got our local grind here. The sun is already starting to lose the shadow here over the building. So I need to go ahead and get this shot. It shows right on. This is pretty cool. Now, I'm at 2 50th of a second, F11. Still got that. Make sure I'm framed properly. I want to go up a little closer. Okay, maybe that's not quite as cool as it could be, but just about right there before car comes. And yes, I got it. Oh, there's dudes inside. Can I take your guys' picture? I'm using an old film camera, just taking pictures around. Just, just do your thing. Cool. Here we go, and here we go. Awesome. Thank you so much. Starting to really learn the camera. Okay, so I've got a pretty good framing here. Comes a car. Pretty good framing, I'd say, so that the lines aren't too... Okay, there we go. Look pretty straight to me, and I'll take the shot here. Boom. Oh, that was the last shot on the roll. Oh. Okay. Very cool.